Hello, I just want to make a short video on showing people the different parts of a hive. It can be confusing when you're just reading about it. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, this is a hive stand. Um, there's lots of different kinds of hive stands. This happens to be a wrought iron metal one. Um, really good, you can grease uh, around the legs to keep ants away. Uh, this is your bottom board. Uh, it, it is the bottom of your uh, hive. Um, this is a solid bottom board. There are also screened bottom boards. Uh, I don't have one of those. So you set the bottom board on the stand, and that's your good platform. Uh, the next thing you'll have uh, from a lot of you is a deep box. So the deep box is smaller or larger than a medium box. This is typically what your brood is in uh, with these deep boxes. They're hollow and they're basically four-sided boxes. Now, when you're putting it together, you'll place the box on top of the bottom board, like so. And the thing uh, you have to get used to is you don't bolt any of the pieces of your hive together because you're taking them up and down. You're using gravity to hold everything together. Inside your uh, deep, you're gonna have frames. This is a frame. It happens to have a plastic foundation in it. That's what I use that the bees would build upon. Uh, some people use uh, wire and wax. Uh, I don't have those. This is an all plastic frame. Some people like these because they're very strong. Uh, your choice, uh, whatever you're comfortable with. The frames go in the boxes. They slide in on those ledges. The other thing you may see in a, a box is uh, an internal feeder. Um, these are, are what are used in some areas of the country. They're hollow, you pour uh, syrup in here, uh, and you can load it into your box, and the bees can go into it without having to come outside of the hive or have a feeder. Everyone likes to feed differently. Now, the next kind of box you'll probably encounter is a medium box, sometimes called a super, a honey super. Um, they're the same dimensions as the deeps, except for the depth. They're shallower in depth compared to the deep boxes. And so these usually go on top of the deeps, just like that. They'll rest on. You line them up. And again, the uh, medium boxes have their own frames that are a little bit smaller that match. Again, here's a wooden frame with a plastic foundation. And here's a plastic frame, totally plastic frame. You're calling what you like to use. Everyone has different opinions about it. Whatever you choose is great. Got an inner cover. I'll be right back. Once you uh, have all the frames you want in your boxes, you're probably going to want to put in an inner cover. Uh, this is a very shallow uh, frame of wood with a cover on it. Typically, there's a hole like this uh, in the center of it. This inner cover goes on top of the boxes, and it kind of helps close out the uh, the uh, hive for you. Not everyone uses inner covers. Um, it's more for people who do kind of backyard beekeeping than commercial people, but everyone, again, does it differently. You've now got your box stack, you got your inner cover on, and then you have to put your cover, your outer cover on. Um, this, this cover is called a migratory cover. Not sure why, that's just what it's called. It's all wood. Uh, it would just simply go on top of the box to seal it off uh, and keep things down. Um, there are other kinds of covers. There's a kind of cover called a telescoping cover. I don't have one of those. Uh, I use these insulated covers. They're much easier to get off for me. I tend to like them. They're a little more expensive, but it's what I like to use. They go on top the same way, like that. Um, basically, uh, that's what it is in your high boxes. You might hear somebody talk about a nuke box. A nuke box is very similar to uh, a, a deep box, except the width is only five frames wide. This one is made of polystyrene. Uh, it's good for uh, keeping a uh, small colony alive. In. And then the last thing I'll mention is a hive tool. Uh, the hive tools are often used uh, in everyday inspections, all that kind of stuff. There's different kinds of hive tools. This is the most traditional one. And one of the most traditional uses when you're working with these boxes, if you want to lift the box up, you'll 
put the high tool between the boxes break the propolis seal and then you can lift the box up entirely that's about it that's just the basics of the boxes and the equipment that you would have in beekeeping i hope this helps if you're getting started thank you